hello everyone so today i'm gonna show you how to add this attract force event uh, attract force effect into the sword before we do the ground slam like this so here as you can see if i stop you can see uh, let me slow down uh, you can see some uh, particles are attracted to the sword before we do the uh, before we do the area of effect attack so here you can see these smaller particles so yeah that's what we are going to work on today and here we will handle this through a custom gameplay queue and we will do some coding inside the gameplay queue by overriding on burst function so that we can do exactly what we want to do that means spawning that means adding uh, the particle effect as a child component of the sword in the runtime so that we will get the exact shape of the sword when we do the yeah see it, this uh, particle is using the shape of the sword so that we can uh, make it look like energy is attracted into the sword from the environment right so before we get started with the tutorial let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done from the patron page and also you can watch all the episodes of this series uh, this is a part of the section rpg with gameplay ability system series so here i'll leave the link to the full playlist also in the description below all right now let's get back to today's tutorial right, so here i have imported this uh, effect so basically this uh, what i want to do here is something like attracting energy from environment before we do the area of impact attack so that means here when the, i lift the sword like that i should see the i should see that effect first so to do that um, here we need to attach this uh, particle effect to the sword then only the skeletal mesh in the sword will be used to sample the location on the mesh so this uh, effect will behave accordingly okay now to do that here let me first open my GAAOE radial attack and we need to spawn it through a gameplay queue just like well you can do it just like oh, just like this here uh, but we need to do that at the beginning so how do we do it uh yeah let's first create a new gameplay queue maybe we can just duplicate this ecn aoe charge sword well i'll drop aoe part so this is a gameplay queue parent is gcn burst and instead of this i'll use this ns air attractor skm effect and then uh here yeah. now as i said i need to execute that right after i start doing this attack so how to do that maybe right here oh but i need to have a different tag for this otherwise i can't activate it so game play queue 
and then a sub deck charge yeah, let's just call it air because it looks like air the reason is I may have other charge effects like fire later on so charge air okay and then here uh, execute gameplay queue duplicated right and as the target actor i'll queue the weapon of the character so get avatar actor from actor in okay Here uh, we don't need to check if we have a weapon because we are we ensure that we equip the weapon uh, weapon and also we having a weapon is a requirement in order to activate the, this uh, ability. So we will always have a weapon here. So not necessary to do a valid check, but if you want, you can. Okay, this is the tag I want to activate and well let's just see what happens right away okay as you can see the the effect is there but it's not attached to the sword so here we can try this placement in four by override this and dash to target and snap to target now let's see what happens it's attached to the actor but not the weapon okay so then what we can do is the uh, I can open full player print editor and override on burst. Now here we have spawn results. Let me break this. Here we have FX system components. Let's get the first one where we only have one element here. And then attach to Attach no attach component okay component let's try this too and we can access uh, root component location snap to target station snap to target scale okay fold Okay, let's see if this works. Well, it's not. Not still attached, spawning on the sword itself. Okay, why not? Mm. Okay, let me. Just delete this and then we have the actor here let's manually add a component add component by class and Niagara Niagara particle okay Niagara component right and split we need to enable this 
let's enable this okay and then as the Niagara effect set Niagara system asset here I'll select this uh, aircraft uh, km okay and yeah let's try this and see if it works okay that is working uh but it's not taking the shape of the sword for some reason oh uh, yeah let's see uh this is try attach parent okay there is something called uh, cpu access allow cpu access keep this load state on the cpu so it can be used of things such as sampling in fx so this is the mesh that i have used so let me enable this and try again now yeah see now we have the effect properly on the sword but we have a problem this should not go on forever it should only appear briefly so to resolve that maybe here there so once let's try this okay all right i need to give that for both images just add it'll be once but once okay uh, work. great so now we have some indicator that we are attracting force from the bird okay Okay, uh, one more thing. Let me quickly check this on a multiplayer setting as well. Yeah, it's visible. What? Okay, great. So with that, I'm gonna stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. You in the next episode. Goodbye.